name is Amelia, you are watching Vita Day 5, and this video is my application to the Less Than Famous panel at VidCon. When I first heard about this panel, I wanted nothing more in the world than to be involved with it, and then I learned slash decided that I'm going to VidCon for the first time this year, and so I'm super excited for VidCon, and also, re regardless of whether or not I end up on it, I'm really excited for this panel. I love YouTube. I mean, I doubt that distinguishes me from anybody else out there, but it has to be said. I've been vlogging for something like two and a half years, and I think that this thing that we're doing here online is so cool, and I would love to have the chance to talk about that with other people. I think that there is sort of becoming more of an us and them mentality on YouTube these days, and that's leaving a lot of middle ground creators, like, not really sure where they stand. So I'm really excited for this, and also for any other supposed programming at VidCon that's going to be catering more to that. It's so, like, I'm a creator, I'm a subscriber, I'm a fangirl, I'm a vlogger, I'm a person. I am miles and miles away from anything resembling a big YouTuber, but I have arguably become, like, a real proper vlogger, whatever that means. And I'm still sometimes trying to get my head around that, and I don't know if I ever really will. I'm sure that's partly because I got the vast majority of my subscribers in one go due to, I don't want to call it luck, but it was definitely a series of fortuitous happenings starring Hank Green. So I've been on something vaguely like a panel before due to some somewhat crazy happenstances. I ended up on this debate at LeakyCon, and I'm obviously not objective, but I don't think I did terribly there in front of people despite having like an hour and a half's warning that that was going to happen. And we won the debate, and I'm really not even sure how it came about that Hank came across my channel, and then, well, one Hank's channel video later, people were here. And really, we've just been building from there, and that's been quite a few months now, but sometimes I still feel like I'm still getting to know people, and people are still getting to know me, and I'm just, you know, still figuring everything out. Because as much as I love to talk and think about YouTube and online video, I really don't know anything. And the thing is, nobody really knows a ton about this because YouTube and all of this is still so new. And everyone is basically just making it up as they go along, and that's probably what makes this so cool and interesting. I don't get as many chances to discuss YouTube stuff as I'd really like. I go on mini rambles on Tumblr from time to time, but I don't really have people I can talk to about all, all this stuff, and I really want to talk about this stuff and learn about this stuff. Like, I'm ridiculously happy and excited about the vid thoughts Tumblr that Hang made a couple days ago where he talks about online video. Because I really want to know more about this industry and slowly we can all become our own experts, or at least pretend that we are until it kind of happens. Because that's just what we've got to do, that's sort of how it all came about in film studies, and that's just how we've got to go about it, because there's really no other way to learn anything. I'd say I guess I'm kind of in this like second-ish or maybe even third generation of vloggers trying to simultaneously follow in the footsteps but also distinguish ourselves from everybody else out there. So it's getting a lot harder to get noticed out there by yourself. Like you can make friends and you can cross promote or you can get a bit lucky and get a shout out from a higher power but then no matter what you still really have to work at it to make sure that people are still like coming and being interested and engaged and people are coming back and coming in and above all you just have to make sure that you are making content that you genuinely like and are proud of. And self-promotion is a bit of an art form, like finding something that's effective but isn't obnoxious and everyone has different things that work for them. Like there's really no set right or wrong way to YouTube. As long as you're doing it, nobody's going to stop you unless you're being obscene or something, but that's just, it's not like anything else in the media industry because there's no like one set format that you're going for. And the big thing is, like a lot of things out there, you get out what you put into it. Like if you make lazy content, then people are probably less likely to watch and participate. If I didn't talk to people in comments, people would probably comment less and just it would overall lead to less interaction and community and basically the opposite of what I want to get out of this. I love interacting with people, like I wouldn't do any of this if I didn't genuinely love it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the video editing process and I'm stuck in iMovie so I wouldn't put myself through that or through any of this if I didn't genuinely like making things and sharing things and engaging with you guys through all this. And I love the internet and not just because I am horribly addicted to it in a probably legitimately unhealthy sort of way. I think the internet is fascinating. Even before I was into YouTube, I was into film and TV and I was just really excited by how the internet has the potential to totally change the game. And I wanted to be part of that. I'm planning on majoring in media culture communications and minoring in film production, and I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with that degree, but I know that I want to be part of this crazy changing world that's happening out there. 
And YouTube is a big part of that, and I'm hoping that my course program will have some flexibility for me to look at stuff like this, because I really do think it is just so cool and so interesting. So hopefully I was able to articulate my love and fascination for YouTube in this video. Whatever happens, I absolutely cannot wait for VidCon and for this panel. If any of you vlogging fans or just anybody wants to talk to me about stuff in comments, that would be neat. And if James or any of you less than famous people have any other questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. And congratulations on making this panel a thing. I look forward to it and it will be amazing regardless of anything. Bye.